Okay, so not a lot of time for this. Uh, so we got game four of this Tenacious Diamond Kings. We're going to get right going into it. If you haven't watched the previous three videos, there's a lot of explanation in that as to what we're doing here. It's basically King of the Hill tournament. The Orioles are two-time defenders. Um, so they have won... Uh, well, they've defended once, so this will be their second defense, I guess is the way to put it. Uh, their number three pitcher, Wei Yin Chen, will be going against the Phillies' number one, who is Aaron Harang. So let's get going here. Uh, the lineup for the Phillies, Galvis at short, Herrera in center field, Franco at third base, uh, Howard at first, Frank in right, Ashy will be the designated hitter for this since we're playing in Baltimore. Uh, Altair will be in left, uh, Carlos Ruiz behind the plate, and uh, Hernandez at second. And I'm going to try and adjust the camera here a little bit before we go. Well, that's about the best I can do. Let's go. So Galvis leading off. So if the Phillies win, they will be the king of the hill for this. If Baltimore wins, they will, they will continue, and that will be their second defense, and they'll have to win three more games to be crowned the king, and that would be a really quick project. But <laughs> so 5-7 for Galvis, and that's going to be a uh, single, unless it's a 1 or a 2. It's a 20, so a single for Galvis. Let's see, Weeders is a 2-rated uh, catcher, so we're probably not stealing with Galvis. So Herrera... Well, he's going to draw a walk so on his 1-2, so already the Orioles in a little bit of trouble here. Michael Franco. Well, there's going to be a double play. 5-4-3, Galvis will get the third on that. And there are two outs. It'll be Ryan Howard with a runner 90 feet from scoring. 6-9. And that one is cranked and it's gone. Ryan Howard goes deep. 2 nothing Phillies. As they get a heck of a roll there off of Chen's card. And that's the first uh, problem for the Orioles here. 2 nothing. Now, Frank Orr, 6 4, grounded to third base. Machado, a 2 rated third baseman. And 8 is uh, it's an out. That will retire the side. But they get 2 right off the bat. Ryan Howard comes through. Kind of his swan song of a season here. Uh, tough to see. 229 average, 23 homers, but he gets one there. And the Phillies end up on top. And the Phillies have Harang. Harang not exactly, not exactly a number one. So Baltimore should have their chance here. So they've got uh, Machado at third, Para in right, Para, excuse me, Jones in center, Davis at first, Weeders catching, Pierce left field, Delman Young is going to take over for Paredes as the DH in this one, Scope at second, Hardy short facing Harang. Well, 312 would be a fly ball to center, caught by Herrera, Para. 5-9, that's also a fly ball to center, and they get a little bit of a break there, because that's 5 eights much worse. So that's two outs, and Adam Jones. 2-6, that'll be a double on a 1-10, to 10. and there's a 4, so he gets a two-out double. So this is an I-95 uh, matchup here. Team's about two hours apart from each other. Now Chris Davis, 
and he lifts a fly ball that's going to be caught by Frank Corr and the double goes to waste. Second inning. Two nothing Bills. Cody Ashy. One six. This could also be gone. One to twelve. It's a seventeen. That's a double. Here's Altair. Three nine, he strikes out. And Chooch. Two seven, that's a fly ball to the left, caught by Pierce. And now Cesar. Four four fly ball to center field B. That'll be caught by Jones. And so the leadoff double is uh, squandered. Bottom O the second. So it'll be the catcher, Matt Weeders. Whoops, sorry for hitting the camera there, guys. Six seven. Well, there's going to be at least a single. Could be a triple for the catcher. Single makes more sense. One to eight guy's gonna have trouble legging out a triple probably. But all right, so Steve Pierce. 5-4 fly ball to left field, caught by Altair. Delman Young. 2-5, 1-7 would advance the runner, and there it is. Brings up Jonathan Scope. First and second, one out. Philly's looking for the double play, 5-9. That's a fly ball to center field again. And again, they miss out on the 5 8. And now Hardy with two outs. 2 11. It's a walk. It's going to load the bases. And that brings up Machado with a chance to do some real damage here. 3 7. It's going to walk home a run. 2-1. Weeders comes home. Base is still loaded. For Gerardo Parda. 1-5. They're playing with normal defense. That's a grounder to second, which will retire the side. They do get a run back, though. On the bases loaded walk. The Bill Bob. The Bill Bob. Bases loaded, bases on ball. To the third. And it's going to be fast, Freddie Galvis. Six eight. Going to be a double unless it's a one or a two on the D20. And so a double for Galvis. Chen's ERA is good, but he gives up a lot of extra base hits, it looks like. Especially if you get down that six high roll. So that will do both. So the third leadoff hit for the Phillies in this game. 2 10, fly ball to center field. Jones underneath it makes the catch. And now Franco. Another 6 8. 1 to 2 homer. That's a double little score.
to the gap. And it'll be Ryan Howard, who went yard once before. 10 fly ball to center again shallow in comes Jones makes the play and now Frank Core oops and a 1-4 again playing normal depth that's a 6-3 put out 3-1 Phillies get that run right back So now uh, it'll be Adam Jones facing Harang. 4 8 strikes him out. Chris Davis. 4 7, that's a walk. Davis not going to run. Matt Weeters. 2-8. That's a grounded at third base B. That's a 5-4 fielder's choice. And Steve Pierce with two outs. Strikes out. And that will be it for the third. Orioles in danger here of... Losing to the Phillies, and that would start us over as far as the uh, King of the Hill deal goes. I believe next up would be the F uh, Florida Marlins, or Miami Marlins, I guess, at this point. So, whoever wins this game will be facing the Marlins next. Let's write down our fours here at the top of the column, and it'll be Ashy. Doubled in the second inning. That's going to be a grounder to shortstop. And Hardy throws him out. Aaron Altera. Or seven is a needs a one for a double. It's a two, thankfully, for the Orioles. That's a fly ball to right caught by Para. It's a two outs. Carlos Ruiz. And two, three, grounded to second base. And scope without an issue. We're through three and a half. It's 3 1 fighting Phils ahead of the fighting Orioles. <laughs> yeah. Orioles fans looking for more here. They piled into the park thinking this was going to be a, a pretty easy game. The Phillies not very good in 25th, 20, uh, 2015. But they're testing these Orioles right now. And it's going to be Delman Young going to lead off. 6-5. That's a grounder to second. Thrown out by Cesar Hernandez. One out. Scope. Strikes out. Boy, Harang is throwing one of his best games. Hardy for six. Grounder to second base. Hernandez a two. And an 11. That is going to be an out. So through four. Harang with some one, two, three innings here. At least one. Getting his strikeouts. He's less than a strikeout an inning guy, but he's got a couple here. Three and four innings, so. I guess that's what happens when you face the Orioles, who are kind of like the uh, all or nothing team. One of them. And we're back to uh, the Phillies, and it'll be the bottom of their order here for the fifth. It will be Cesar Hernandez. A lot of times he would be a leadoff hitter, and here he's going to get a leadoff single unless it's a 19 or a 20. And 
We're going to hit and run with Galvis. Wait, I don't need to roll that thing. We're going to hit and run. Hit and run 11. That might not be good. And I've got some charts covering up my... I've been doing some other stuff, so i got to take my other charts off of here that I use for uh, the super advanced game. Hit and run 11. Batter misses pitch. Roll 20-sided die for the steal results. So, uh, Cesar is going to run. He is an A stealer, so that gives him 1 to 15 minus the 3 for um, Weeders because he's a 2 catcher. So, 1 to 12 chance, and he's caught stealing. So that's one out, and Galvin's still at the plate. And that's a liner to second for Galvis. And so Odubel Herrera. And he strikes out. He's over two with a walk. And we're through four and a half. And three for the Phillies, one for the Orioles. It's Friday morning, so I'm not in exactly expecting a large turnout for this, but sometimes. Timing is everything from for me, and this morning is a good time, except I don't have a lot of a window here, but we're moving right along. We're in the bottom of the fifth, and it will be Machado, top of the order for the Orioles. Can they get something going here? That's a 2-5, and that's a strikeout. Manny, not really pulling his weight. He was 0-3 in the previous game, and he's 0-2 here with a walk. Para. Over two so far, five, six. And that will be at least a single, one to two double. There's a single. They're getting their hits, but they can't seem to string them together here too much. Here's Adam Jones. Five, seven, and one to two would be a single. That'll be a liner caught by Ryan Howard. And so with two outs. Me, Chris Davis. This guy can turn on him. Can they get the big hit from him here? They really need it. Now that's a 2 3, and it's going to be a ground ball to second base. And Hernandez will convert the final out of the inning. We're through five, and the Phillies are leading 3 1. I think in this project there's going to be a key learning, which is that it is tough to win, tough to win three or four games in a row. <laughs> so now Franco strikes out to lead off the sixth. Brings up the who I what I who I used to call the Howitzer Ryan Howard. That's a grounder to second base. He already got his home run for this game, so it's tough to expect much out of him after that. And now Frank Core three six. There's a two out single for him. Brings up Ashy the DH one for two. Yeah, but he strikes out, and that retires the Phillies in the sixth. So, Harang is starting to get close to his pitching limit that I would put on him. I'd say three times through the lineup is pretty decent anymore. So, I'm going to get Elvis Arojo warming up. And Harangle face Weeders. 6 5, grounded to second base. I'll tell you what, Harang has gotten every good roll that he can get here. He hasn't really laid a, a bad step so far. 2 6, fly ball to left, caught. By all terror, the dice look seem to be looking favorably on the Phillies in this one. Delman Young 
And that's a strikeout. So one, two, three for Harain. Might be able to get another inning out of him. Through six is still three one fills. I was thinking that the Orioles would be a shoe in in this one, and they just have not been able to catch any traction in this. So Chen is working on borrowed time right now. They're going to get Brian Matus. going in the pen and in the seventh they're gonna he's gonna pitch to Altair to start 4-4 four, four, that's a fly ball to center caught by Jones Carlos Ruiz 2-10 is a strikeout Cesar 5-8 grounder to shortstop that's going to be Hardy. He's a two. Two and a one is going to be an out. No, two and a one is a single. My bad. I read the wrong column. So uh, that will be it for Chen. We're going to cap him at that. So they will bring in Matus. He will face Galvis. So hurrying six. They're not hurrying uh, Chen. Got to make sure we get the uh, S and the Z right here for Matus. And um, with two outs, Galvis will just swing away. No, we're not going to try to steal with Hernandez, although it might be worth the calculated risk here. But let's see. 4 8. Well, there's a walk, so. Brings up Herrera. Runner into scoring position, two out, two six, a fly ball to right field, caught by Para, and that will take care of the Phillies in the top of the seventh. It is the stretch. A one, a two, a three. No, we won't do that. Okay, we're going to try to squeeze one more inning out of her own. Bottom of the seventh. If he gives up a hit, we're probably going to pull him out. So, scope. 5-8. 1-4 homer. 5-20 to 20 a double. This might be it for Harang. That's a 6, so that is a double. We'll let him pitch to Hardy. Two eleven. 11 That's a walk, and that will be it. So... Harang, pitcher of record right now. They're going to bring in Araujo. Harang goes six innings and has the two on base here. So first and second, nobody out, and it'll be Manny Machado. 4-7, grounder to second. Could get a real good chance here. Scope is a two. Um, I don't think there's any adjustment in. Let me just double check. If you're holding runners, I think it's just. I think in the basic game, if you're holding runners. Yeah, all, all that happens is the chances that uh, the chances change a little bit. So they would be holding, would they be holding scope? No, they wouldn't. So never mind. So it's, uh, it's Hernandez who's, uh, sorry, I'm getting a little mixed up here. So Hernandez is also a two second baseman. They have a chance for a double play here. On a 16, second base, 16. Oh, and it's a one base error. Right here, the second baseman with a two is a one base error. 
So everybody moves up a base. E4. And bases are loaded. Nobody out. Araujo is going to have to really work out at this one. They're going to play with the infield back. They will take a double play to get an out here. Or to get two outs. So Para. Five, six strikes him out. That is a huge out right there. Now they can really play back and try to hope that they can derive a double play out of this and get out of the inning completely. So Araujo working. Jones at the plate. Base is loaded. One away. 5-11. A grounder back to the pitcher. Araujo is a pitcher three. 19. Oh, my word. Pitcher three is a two base error. <coughs> and that's the basic game for you. Because in oh, that's three. In super advanced, a pitcher with a rating of three is they don't err too much. Well, the airs get split out some. A range of three, does, but uh, anyway. So, no runs batted in there for Jones. It's just going to be a tie ball game, though, with second and third on a two-base air committed by Araujo, and this inning has gone wrong for him. Phillies are going to look at other options now. going to get up Ken Giles, I guess, because uh, they were trying to get to him in the eighth, but uh, so they're going to give Chris Davis, they're going to give him one more batter here, Davis. 6-8, and that's a walk, and that's going to load the bases again, and Giles is going to come in with a real predicament. A third of an inning for Araujo. So Giles will face Weeders with the bases loaded. Chance for this game to really take a, uh, a wild turn here. 2-8. That's a ground to third base. They're playing. Let's see. They'd be playing with the infield in, right? That means that the runner on third is going to be thrown out at home. They wouldn't. I mean, they could be trying for the double play here, but I think once you're tied, you really want to try and prevent the winning run, especially this late in the game. So, ground out there, that's going to be a 5-2 fielder's choice. Everybody moves up one. That brings up Steve Pierce with two outs, and the base is still loaded. Still 3-3, Baltimore. Uh, tied has tied the Phillies here. One, eight, is a ground or short, and that will retire the side. They get two in the seventh. We're going to the eighth tie ball game. Hi, Mark. <coughs> so tied. Orioles. Call on Givens. Here in the top of the eighth. Matus gets the single out. Get him out of the seventh. So <clears throat> Phillies are going to keep Giles in there for the eighth. So here's Franco. Five, six strikes him out. Howard. Two, six, a grounder to first base. Davis is going to go it alone. And now Francoeur. Four, five strikes him out. One, two, three inning for Givens. Bottom of the eighth. 
3-3. It was looking like maybe the Phillies would be able to unseat the Orioles. As the Orioles were kind of kind of easing it along. And then the seventh, they kind of got a foothold starting against Harang. They got a couple base runners, and then Araujo came in and couldn't couldn't uh, shut them down. But also some fielding disasters, one from Hernandez and one from Araujo himself. That was probably the more devastating one, the two base error. Throws it away. So uh, Giles back out to face Delman Young. Two six, a grounder to short, one out. Young DHing today instead of Paredes. Here is uh, Scope. He's one for three. And he strikes out. Now Hardy. Shot hard shot right at Galvis, and we're gonna go to the night. We might be going extras here, guys. And extras would figure since I kind of said at the beginning of the broadcast I didn't have a ton of time, but I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Any I'll just finish it out. I'll have to finish it out here and we'll just have to make amends later. Okay, so Britain. Not a save situation at the moment, but after the ninth, he can't get into one anyway, so you might as well might as well get something out of him here. So here is Ashy against Britain. Grounder to second. One out. The scope makes the play. Altera. Mm. Gonna do a little. Uh, they're gonna pinch hit here for him. They're gonna use rough. Try and get a little bit of extra pop here, maybe. Uh, he will stay in left if need be. So here's rough. That's a 1-4. That's a grounder back to the pitcher. <coughs> and Ruiz. Ah, he's going to get a two-out single. So, the Phillies are alive with the sound of music. No, just kidding. Uh, so, Ruiz at first with two outs for Cesar Hernandez. And he draws a walk. So, Britain getting a little shaky here. Biting the nails. Phillies are going to get Naris. And Luis Garcia up. Not Naris. Uh, they will get jo Genmar Gomez, I mean. Wait. Oh, that's right. They, uh... Yeah, well will be Garcia. Garcia I don't know why I used Giles early. I should have probably he he he's been there. He's their closer now that uh, they dealt other guys. So uh, um, and I don't think it would be wise to use him more than that. So they will go. Uh, they'll use Garcia in the save situation if necessary, and Gomez. Otherwise, all right. So two outs. It'll be Galvis, first and second. Five seven. A grounder to second base. So this is Scope. Can he make the play? Thirteen for the second baseman. One. Yes. Oh wait. Out with no runners on base. think that means batter is out regardless. <coughs> okay, well they're going to play that as a fielder's choice. I, I don't like that. I'm going to play it as a 4-3. <coughs> they say that 
it's an out with the no runners on base, but if there's a forced runner, then the 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 runner on first going to second is out. So it's basically a ground ball B, but with two outs, I don't really like that. So uh, no runs for the Phillies. Sorry about that. I'm just my mind isn't quite geared to uh, the basic strat yet. I'm still working on it. Now the Phillies were probably wishing they had Giles. But they're going to go with Gomez since it's not a save situation here. One run wins, it's 3-3, bottom of the ninth, and it's Machado to lead off against Gomez. 6-9, it's a fly ball to center field caught by Jones. Oh yes, and uh, Ruff is now playing left, and he is a four-rated left fielder, so... Pretty sure he's an E guy stealing, right? Yes. All right, so Machado out. Here's Para with one out. Four or five, a fly ball to Herrera again. That's two outs. And Adam Jones, six, seven, strikes him out. So Gomez gets the better of him there. And it's going to be ten innings at least. Three, three. Breakfast baseball is correct, so Britain is only going to go the inning. I'm going to get Darren O'Day warming up here. Not warming up, they're going to bring him in. Free breakfast baseball, even. So Herrera facing O'Day. Six, seven, a grounder to second. So scope, a two and a 13. We already know that is an out. Franco, five, ten. Fly ball to center. Jones, one rated center fielder. So. Uh, that is an out. And that brings up Ryan Howard, who's already gone deep once in this game. Can he do it again here in the 10th and be a hero? 6-8, grounder to Hardy. Tough play for him. He's a 2, and a 12 is going to be out. And that retires the side. Okay, the Phillies are going to have to use Luis Garcia now. And we're getting close to being out of room here. I, I've done some long games. Not too many on the channel, but I think I've gotten up to 13 or 14 innings before. But uh, off the channel, I've gotten up to in the, like, 20 range. So here's Davis against Garcia. And it's a 6 10. That's a fly ball to center. It's going to be Herrera. He's three. Three and eight. That's an out. Nine is a double. Eight is an out. So. A second, I had a, a bit of malfunction with the other cards. Matt Weeders. Two nine is a strikeout. 
And here's Steve Pierce. One seven strikes out. So Luis Garcia gets it done. And we're going to the 11th. And from here on out, I'm going to have to start kind of doing my columns as at bats, not as uh, not as uh, which one jiggers, not as uh, innings, because going to run out of room. We're bringing McFarland. Is going to be better to maybe have a uh, might be better to have a long reliever here that could go three four innings, but neither team I don't think either team has one at this point. Phillies have well, they have Asher in their bullpen. He in theory could he could pitch some long relief here, but uh, it'll be McFarland against Howard. Actually, it's not against Howard. Howard grounded out to end the previous inning, so give me a second as I get the card straight, and it'll be Francoeur. Grounded to second base, one out. Ashy to 10, grounded back to McFarland. Here's Ruff, who came into the game for Altair in the ninth. And it's a fly ball to right on the 6-2, and it's going to be... Uh, we might have McFarland pitch two innings. Quick, quick work. O'Day could have pitched two innings as well, probably, but... Uh, all right, so... We're also going to give Garcia another inning to try and because if, if they go one, two, three, I think we're safe to probably give them another inning. So Delman Young. Five five strikes him out. This is this is potentially walk off time here. Jonathan Scope, bottom of the eleventh, three three two six. A one would be a walk off homer. 2-20, to 20, a double. There's a double for Scope. Bottom of the order, Magic here. Can they string together another hit? Um, they're going to face Hardy here. I think they'd rather try to get him out on the second out and then maybe walk Manny to go to Para and see what happens. So here's Hardy. 4-8. 1-11 would not get the run home, though. It's only one base advance. It's a three. It's on a one to eleven, so that is going to be first and third. And they will intentionally walk Machado, who is due. He's zero for four with a walk, and so they're going to face Gerardo Para. Base is loaded. They're infield in. I don't think there's an outfield in option in basic. So, one away. Luis Garcia trying to get the job done here. 1 7 is a strikeout. And that brings up Adam Jones with two outs. A base hit wins it. Infield back now. Base hit wins it. Otherwise, we're going to the 12th. 5-4, that's catcher's card. Catcher is Ruiz, who is a four-rated catcher. If there's a passed ball here, the game is over, or a wild pitch. That's an 11 on the catcher's card, and guess what? 4-11 is a foul out. We're going 12. How about that? Get the bases loaded, and the Orioles cannot cash in. Luis Garcia gets out of jail. <coughs> and we're going to the 12th inning, guys. Got 
actually the Phillies will bring up Neris next. Okay, so we said McFarland will go a second inning here. Taking his warm-up tosses, trying to get the uh, arm lum you know, uh, lim limbered, lumbered, limbered up. As he sat for a while in that inning. Six batters, but no runs in. Uh, here is Ruiz. That's a grounder to third base, and Manny Machado. He's a boss over there. Cesar, 3-5, strikes out, and Galvis, 4-8, that's a single, and they have Herrera coming up, Galvis being a B stealer, I don't really want to tempt that. Here is Herrera with two outs. 6-5. Fly ball to left or the center field, and it'll be caught by Jones. No runs for the Phillies. One hit, and then one, leave one. Still 3-3 three, three here, going to the twelfth, bottom of the 12th. Can anyone end this game? McFarland's going to be done. They're going to have to use Brad Brock next. Actually, they would prefer to use Chaz Rowe if they have to, because Rowe and Brock pitched the last game, and Brock is sort of their alternate closer. So it's going to be Neris facing Davis for the Phillies. Bottom of the 12. Get things back in view here. Things have gone to the far right of the page, and they might keep going here. Don't be surprised. Okay, Chris Davis against Neris. 6-5. That one is tagged, and that is going to be the ball game. It's gone. Chris Davis... Walks off. They storm the field. He's trotting around the bases. Finally, uh, an automatic pitcher's card roll, which Neris's card is not the worst of all. Uh, I could have put Defreitas in. And uh, this is the end of it as Davis pops it, just deposits the thing out over the right field wall and that is that for this game the Orioles do defend their title again that's a 4-3 final here the Phillies get an early 3-1 to one lead looks like they got it going and then the Orioles finally kind of start putting it together in the seventh <coughs> aided by a couple of Philly errors make it 3-3 and then it stays that way until Chris Davis trashes one, hits that big wall out the back of the uh, right field of uh, Camden Yard, and that's it. That's the uh, that's the skinny, that's the rub. The Orioles win their, or de defend their second game, so they still have three to go. Their next pitcher would be Ubaldo. Not the worst guy. Then they have to get through Miguel Gonzalez, too. That's their fifth pitcher. So if they can get those through them, then they can go back, I think, to Gossman to try and close it out. But, you know, they've got the Marlins coming up. So the Phillies and the Marlins were a stretch that I think were favorable for them. Um, and just to bring this up, this is not updated, but you can see the Marlins. Then you got the Tigers, another team that I think you could... <clears throat> then you got the Red Sox, and again, I, you know, it's weird because 2015 was sort of a, a, a transition season. You know, you started seeing some of the teams that were into the rebuild uh, in the previous several years started to come around, and so you've got teams like the Royals and the Cubs and um, uh, Toronto, 
uh, being the teams that were probably a little bit more in the fray. And you start thinking a team, a team like the Red Sox, they were sort of like selling and trying to, you know, retool around guys like Bogarts and Betts. So, um, yeah, so you've got, you've got a Red Sox team there that's, uh, so they, let's see, they would need, so they defended against the Mariners, they defended against the Phillies, then they got the Marlins, Tigers, so that would be, so that's their first, second, third, fourth, fifth. They'd have to beat the Red Sox to be the out-and-out -out champs. The, the D Diamond Kings, which I staked a project on the idea that we probably wouldn't get around once, and I, I still don't think we will, but uh, this was a game that looked like the Phillies were going to uh, ultimately come out on top, but instead... Uh, just, you know, it's the pitching, I think, a lot of times. You, you just got to end up having enough pitching, and uh, it's tough because pitching is hard to come by anymore. So, anyway, we're going we're gonna to close it out here. So, uh, I didn't, didn't expect this to be such a long game, but even with that, we're still under an hour, which is pretty darn good for a tabletop game so I gotta go so till next time uh, enjoy your tabletop sports and we will see you soon